Merry Christmas. Hi, welcome to Canis Spader Christmas. In this episode, I want to cover adding music to your display. Now with the software that we have today, it's really easy to accurately time the patterns in your lights to music. So I have a string of lights connected to my computer playing a sequence I just created to give you a taste of what you can do. There's no music, but you really don't have to have any. You can make a very nice display without adding audio. However, here's the same sequence, but with music added. So the music adds a little character to the show, but now you have the problem of getting the audio out to your audience, the people walking or driving by, and there's a couple of options. Many people use an FM transmitter to broadcast the music so viewers can listen to it in their car. Now last year I bought this transmitter off eBay for about $10. It's got a USB input and a line input. I used a USB cable to power the transmitter and the line in for the audio because I took the audio out from the Raspberry Pi and ran it through an audio processor before sending it out. Now you don't have to do that, but I wanted all the different songs to have the same volume and add a little punch to them. Now this is a very low power transmitter that generally won't get you in trouble with the FCC. And the way you get into trouble with the FCC is by transmitting over an existing commercial FM station and somebody complains. So the FCC comes out, makes field strength measurements, and then either says you're legal or asks you to turn it off. Now, I attached this postage size transmitter to a wooden dowel rod so I could hold the antenna in place and it worked flawlessly. The street is not too far from my house so distance really wasn't a problem. Now if you live out in the country you may need a more powerful transmitter to cover a wider area but try this one first it's a, it's a much cheaper option. Now if you're in a big city or a small town near a big city it may be difficult to find a clear frequency to transmit on. So check that first before deciding to transmit on FM. Now the Raspberry Pi 3 has built-in Bluetooth and you may be thinking well it'd be cool just to transmit directly from the Pi out to somebody's mobile device. Uh, the problem with Bluetooth is that there's a delay created converting from analog to digital and then back digital to analog on the person's mobile device. And with 50 millisecond timing on the lights your show's no longer synchronized. So if I was recording this over Bluetooth, you would see me speak, and then you'd hear the audio delayed a little. Now I can fix this in post, but you can't do that with a live show. Now the other option is to just play music through like a boombox on your front porch or through speakers out in the yard. Now be nice to your neighbors. Don't blast the music. That gets law enforcement involved. They come out and either cite you or tell you to turn it down or off. That kind of ruins the Christmas spirit. Now, if you want to upload a video of your show to YouTube and you've got copyrighted music in it, uh, you either need a release or a license from the copyright owner or YouTube will just mute the audio for you. Uh, there are some tricks to get around the algorithms that detect the music, but really there's enough YouTube safe music out there. Uh, it's just easier to use instead. So in closing, adding music to your display can make it a bit more dynamic and expressive. Uh, adds a little complexity, but it's not too difficult. Questions and comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.